Welcome to the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast with your host, Laura Waldman, where we talk all things money. Big money, big purpose, big power. Waking up your wealth for heart-centered business owners and entrepreneurs. Welcome back. I am so delighted to share today's information with you. How to manage triggers, challenges, setbacks, and failures. As you begin the money manifestation mastery process, you will be experiencing all sorts of challenges and obstacles as you navigate the path between where you are now and where you want to be and how you hold yourself through change, how you hold yourself to create your wealth is the mastery level. And I'd like to share some of my tools and processes to support you with this. As you start the step-by-step process to money manifestation mastery, you will be challenged, you will be triggered, you will experience obstacles, setbacks, failures. That is the game of life, of business, of wealth creation. But we wanna do this in a way that is aligned with your heart, body, and soul. And this is a way to biohack results, to get extraordinary results that are beyond your current patterns, programs, old trauma, old stories, and accelerate that path between where you are now and where you want to be. But this path is not comfortable. It is not for the faint hearted. It is for the luxurious leaders. Those of you who are ready to step into your power, your purpose, your prosperity and lead the way. You are the path maker, the innovator, the way shower. And that means leaning into discomfort. But this is a path of being a leader that's in alignment with your heart, body, soul and values. How to create in business and your finances from a place that you feel really good about. And part of that is navigating your reactions, how you react when things aren't going well, how you react through setbacks. This is everything. How you show up day in and day out makes all the difference. So you want to think about the leader that you want to be in your business, in your finances, and in your life. And part of that is doing the inner work. You're not going to be perfect. You're going to react. You're going to have all sorts of interesting experiences on this path. But what do you want to call yourself home to? So I have a process that I want to share with you today to support you to navigate those challenges, essentially how you react and to support you with the inner game, the inner process, the inner game of transformation so you can show up in the leader that you feel really proud of, show up as the business owner that you feel good about and show up in wealth in a way that's in alignment with your values. So here we go. Let's dive in. So my top tip is to never take an action from a reaction. Give yourself time and space to process your reaction when something doesn't go well. And we start by taking space to stop, to be, and to stay present with your reactions. So I always recommend giving issues at least 24 hours to process, to integrate until you calm down. So this process is about self-mastery about radical self-responsibility and working your own triggers, working your own reactions so that you can show up from a place of heart, body, soul aligned leadership and you can take aligned action, action that's going to move you forward rather than reactive action that is often coming from old patterns, old programs and your past. This is about building a new future for yourself and you need to show up differently. This needs space because you are undoing some very old hard wiring, old patterns, old programs, old wounding, old trauma that your business and your finances will trigger. So this is what's so wonderful about this work. It's a journey of growth, evolution, transformation, and healing. So when you get triggered, when you get challenged, stop, take space to breathe 
and be. Step into the witness. Get curious. What are the thoughts that you are thinking? What are the emotions that you are feeling? What are the reactions that are happening inside of your body? Be the witness. You can do this through meditation, through breath work, being present with yourself. You can do this through journaling. You can give yourself space to journal out everything, vomit it out, do a big mind dump or emotional dump, let it all out. Let out what is coming up for you through writing. Another tool is movement. Move your body to move the reaction through your body. So that can be through exercise, through dance, through getting out into nature. I use all of them. Meditation, journaling, movement. You want to help your body to process, help your mind to process so that you can come back into balance again. Essentially, you want to hold space for yourself until your nervous system regulates again. So you move out of that fight, flight, freeze, fawn, response, reaction, and come back into balance. And if you want to dive deeper, what's really powerful is to get clear on the stories that you're telling yourself based on your reaction. So you can do this through journaling or reflecting. What are you making this mean? What are the stories that you're telling yourself? Now, the challenge of this is that the stories that you're telling yourself of what you make this mean feel like the truth. They feel real. And they may be based on past patterns, programs, pain. But what I'd like you to do is invite yourself into the witness to stay curious. This event has happened. I've had this reaction. This is what's showing up in my thoughts, my emotions, my body. And this is, these are the stories that I'm telling myself. This is what I'm making it mean and write it down, get it down. The mastery level here is to hold space for yourself to determine the facts from the fiction, the facts from the feeling. And it can take some time to find this. And this is where sometimes getting facilitation can really help, like therapy or talking to a trusted friend that can really hold space for you and not just buy into your stories. This is mastery where we can decipher the data, the evidence versus the feelings, the fiction, the stories that you're telling yourself. And invite yourself to hold space for yourself until you have calmed down, until your nervous system has regulated. Your mind has balanced, your emotions have balanced, your body is more relaxed. And if you just hold space to breathe and stay present, feel the feelings that are there, and stay curious, this will happen over time. And from here, we start mining for gold. Because within every challenge, within every pain, within every obstacle, there is gold. If you're willing to dig deep enough to go mining for that gold. And this is why it's so important to step into a place of radical self-responsibility for your reactions, moving out of victim consciousness in the blame game, and recognize what is showing up for you within this situation. This is mastery level. So as you breathe and be and stay present with what's going on, as you've been getting clear on the thoughts, the emotions, the stories, working on deciphering between fact and fiction, the next step is to let go. Soulfully surrender. Let go of all those conscious or unconscious expectations. Easier said than done, but you want to invite yourself to relax, release, so you can step into a deeper, richer space. So witness where you're holding on, clinging on, mentally arguing, wanting to be right. All of those things that we do in our mind when there's a trigger, when there's a reaction. It's a lot of energy we use and we waste through these reactions. So the sooner you can hold them, catch them, release them, the sooner you'll be able to get back into conscious creation. So as you start going deeper, mining for gold, we call on your wealthy wisdom within. This is your inner wisdom or your soul's wisdom that holds a deeper perspective or a higher perspective 
that can see things beyond your present reaction and hold space for the bigger picture. This is really, really important because your survival brain will tell you all sorts of things, but we want to hold the bigger picture. This is why working with future wealthy you, that wealthy wisdom within is so important. That heart, body, soul aligned wealth creation is holding space for the bigger picture, not getting caught up in the tiny details and being willing to let go of what's not important and focus on what is important. And this is why we need time and space to decipher what to do moving forward. So within this challenge, within this trigger, there'll be something inside of you that's been activated. That is a core wound that actually has nothing to do with the actual situation. It's just triggered off something deeper. And this is where you can do deeper healing work, transformation work, shadow work, and go in and meet yourself on new levels. And this is what's so exciting about business or wealth creation is that wherever you go, there you are. And there are opportunities for healing and getting to know yourself. Any kind of relationship is going to call you deeper into yourself. So you want to use it. This is the gold. This is where the growth and transformation happens through the challenges and setbacks. So I like to hold space for deeper levels of vulnerability. So what do you need? What are your unmet needs? And the cool thing about asking this question is it can help you to build new systems and structures and infrastructure in your work in your finances, the challenges and setbacks, failures, triggers, show you where there's holes, where there's leaks, where there are things that are missing. And when you can go in and really look and acknowledge what's missing, you'll then know what to build and what to create. And the next step is to welcome in humility. This requires vulnerability, right? Being willing to look at your part. Where does this live within me? What is going on within me that is contributing to this situation, right? This is about radical self-responsibility. Your reaction and your response is yours. How you react to every situation is yours. And we want to go in and be humble enough, vulnerable enough to go and look at what's going on within. This is the hard work that's usually in the blind spots that most people don't want to look at. But I believe it's essential for leaders, for people in positions of power to do this work, to do the vulnerability work, to do the humility work, so we can be better leaders, better business owners, and greater custodians of the wealth that we create and the wealth that we carry. And another step I invite you into is gratitude, to give thanks to this situation for all it's here to show you, to teach you, for how it's here to grow you and evolve you. Like I said, pain, challenges, setbacks, and failure are the activators for change. Without that pain, without that challenge, we tend to not change. We just stay in our comfort zone. So leaning in, acknowledging that this pain or this challenge, as hard as it is, is actually going to grow you and evolve you if you're willing to stay present with it, look at it, and troubleshoot. Thank you for joining us for today's episode. Make sure to like or follow this podcast so you never miss an episode. Please take a minute to rate or review this podcast. We'd love to hear your feedback. And if you'd like to dive deeper together and learn how to become a money manifestation master, I have a ton of resources to support you. Please visit my website via the show notes below, larawaldman.com, and you can access details to my live events, to my online retreats, to my free masterclasses, and my book. I look forward to being with you next week for another episode of the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast.